Welcome to the Politics Podge. This is LP. Now, today I'm going to be talking about your favorite minister of national security, even the police commissioner, because them do a poll and they ask the people how much confidence they have in them and the numbers don't look too good, but it's far from surprising. Next thing I'm going to talk about, remember recently I did a video and I was talking about the fact that FLA give Rev your favorite big done. Right. License for your arm. I want to make a correction. FLA didn't give Rev one legal gun, they gave him two. I'm going to talk about it because uh, whistleblower tell the leader some things and basically make them know say, the corruption go far and deep in the system. But before I'm going further, we have a very special Patreon birthday shout out to none other than Bob Z. Now, I know nothing to myself. After all, them one other video. Mama Bob is really a giant Patreon squad. We're not talking about your favorite minister, we're talking about the Bajan Bob Z. So, Bob Z, big up yourself, big up your blog, big up the Bajan Massive. To that year, especially, you know, you have your supporters, they might go show nothing but love the same way. Because a long time you have put in the work, sometimes you have to just chill out to take a little break. Because us Caribbean people, we have a strange and spooky way of working myself straight to the grave too fast. So, even me have to start taking my own advice lately. So Bobsy, more life and more blessings. See? Alright, we can move into the video. So we can start off with the polls saying the people are not a confidence in the security minister and the police commissioner. Then we go into the whole river argument. So this is a Dan Anderson poll and the results are not surprising. We can start off with the security minister because he's actually an elected official. 93% of Jamaicans don't have much confidence in the security minister, 91% don't have much confidence in the police commissioner. Matter of fact, the only surprising thing about this is that the number is not 100%. I'm actually surprised that 7% have confidence because where confidence comes from? In my opinion, true confidence comes from results. Confidence is one of the most overused and misunderstood words in the English language. People just dash it all about the place. Just have confidence. Just have confidence. Where confidence come from? Somebody is truly confident. Where them get it from? Results. Confidence without results is delusion. Anybody can talk big. I'm the best in the world. I'm the goat. I'm the top this and the top that. Anybody can talk that. That's not confidence. And nice you make. You know what's real confidence? When you know you're that guy. When you know you're that woman, you know how you come to that conclusion? Your previous results. Oh, you must be. I look a 15 second sprinter. Stand up and track a push out your chest at that board. You're confident. Say you can beat Elian Thompson era or Shelly and Fraser. Who the hell do you think you are? Where results come from? You know the result that chat, yeah, chat. Man. Oh, you for be some little bug footballer. Right? Never score a goal day in your life. I will push the chest and talk about me no, me a bigger baller for Messi and, and Ronaldinho. Man cut the crap and buy two unicorn. Where your results there? You know the results. The Jamaican people have low confidence in the security minister and the police commissioner because of a lack of results. Where the confidence must come from? If this figure was anywhere down in the 50s and the 40s, me no want you nothing more from the Jamaican again for no poll. Because that would be utter madness. Where the confidence have come from? The Jamaican people cannot have confidence in the security minister or any politician for that matter because they have no results for sure. A unicorn meet. Anybody can say anything. What confidence? Come on, people, stop misuse that word. Stop dash it around. Where the confidence must come from? When they hear a wife say, I have confidence in my husband's decision-making abilities. Where that come from? History. Results. She see, he made decisions before and she said, you know what, this man is competent enough to make decisions, so I'm going to just work it with him, say. Then you have a next man who complain, say, film woman, right, don't take him seriously if you don't know what I'm saying. Where's your results? You did that watch one next man and I say, how come film wife? Just respect him and make and, and just work with team decisions. But my wife now, maybe you're not getting the results. The next man get results. 
It's all about results. With no results, it's just delusion. Dr. Horace Chang, the police commissioner, can change this by getting better results. No speech is going to help you. No promises is going to help you. People have to look on the murder charts and see, oh, year after year, it has declined. People have to look and see, just like in Colombia or even El Salvador. Oh, look, from number one in the world, the middle of the pack, over five years, results are delivered. That's when Dan Anderson can go do our next poll, and then you will see like 30 to 40 percent. But until then, it's going to be 91, 92, 93, even 99. Look at that about the police commissioner. It's been years, it's been decades. When you see, chef a change over and over, and all of the food they might taste the same, maybe you need to look on the ingredients. But tell you, say, the legislation in Jamaica is not good enough for any police work with to do much. I say that already, and I keep saying it. And if your favorite leaders them never agree, they will not talk about changing it when they want to make things in do something. Right? So, the ingredients are fundamentally flawed. Now, I know some police want to like and police want to don't like. And the one they want to like, when they make them tell you no foolishness now and yes, if I did me, me that just go in and just box down every gunman and then just cut crime. Even though they've been in the police force for decades and we can track the entire history of their career and see that there's no time period where they cut down any crime when they were in the JCF. When they did younger, stronger, fitter and could actually kick down man, then couldn't do it. But now that's them older, supposedly they might go find the strength from the heavens. Alright, let me feel a unicorn. Now this is how I judge the work of a police commissioner. This is just me. You can use your own standard. Are they improving the professionalism of the force? Are they increasing the trustworthiness of the force? Are they flushing out the corrupt elements inside a JCF? This is what I look for when I'm looking at a police commissioner and what them do. The problem I have with police commissioners is not that them can't drop murder under 1,000 every year. Because as I say, a unicorn meet that with the current legislation. But what I'm looking for is the police them where we know, not feel, but know, sometimes even by JCF's own admission, right, are allies of criminals. From the 116 straight to the 87, right, who remain in the force year after year, some of them in very high positions and even the rev story, you never see how high them can be. You ask any police about them, and them won't squad you till they say, Yeah, man, they're man, they dirty, you know, and they're the boss. Him run off a region, him run off a station. One time, you see, police commissioner start to go after them police there. That's when I will say, That man is doing an excellent job. Until then, it's just a revolving door of mediocrity. That's all the things there. A police commissioner is going to have to go into the JCF and be willing to upset enough of the big ranks them in the JCF. The big ranks them who are linked with criminals. Because if you are trying to flush out the criminal element out of the JCF, you're going to upset some man and you're going to see some people come out and talk about why you might go like so in a squaddy. A police commissioner's loyalty should be with the Jamaican people, not with him squaddy them. So when time I start to see, from the constable to the soup, start to get caught up in a sting operations and I get flushed at JCF, that is when I say, alright, JCF, I take a new leave. But now look at one one constable here and there, caught them on little extortion racket, or him get, you might try to take our money from a man and then catch him. That right there, so smoke and mirrors. At the highest level, corruption is rampant in JCF and the police commissioner if they really want to take JCF to the next level, they must have to flush that out. Obviously, they can't get all of them, but right now, they not get none. When I say none, again, I not talk about no local constable, I talk about the man them with. You feel it big than them, have them number up on speed dial. Because you have to understand something. People talk about JCF want more police, more police, more police, more this, more that, more that. You can't bring in all the police you want. If you don't flush out the corrupt element inside of it, there will be no difference because the extra boots on I put on the ground before them deploy got John's Road 
before them deploy go to the Eagle Park. It does make no sense if Mr. Brown suit pick up the phone and call it down and tell them same I come. Because he was in the big meeting and the operation plan and him call him as he come out. So that is what I really look at police commissioners for. Now, I can move on to Rev. Mr. Artie come out in the gleaner called Reeks of Corruption. They were mentioned to say a whistleblower tell them what I go on regarding the Rev case. Rev have two licensed firearms from FLA. Now, why does that matter? It matters because many Jamaicans, right, law abiding Jamaicans who are told to follow the rules, right, go by the book, meet this criteria, one go apply and you're good, get turned down FLA. And the most FLA people is a vague explanation as to why them turn them down. But you can be a done and get one though. Matter of fact, there was one done who had four. So whenever a scandal like this come out, people start to pass on the blame. And I mean, I mean, I him this say, I'm just working with him say. According to the whistleblower, and this is directly from Glena, the permits were granted because of the intelligence report sent to the FLA that shockingly gave the alleged founder of the St. Elizabeth based 90s gang a clean bill of health. In other words, FLA does work with the fact that the person, according to NIB, never have nothing to worry about. People who have never even get a traffic ticket in their life get turned on by FLA. And they have clean bill of health and no convictions and all that. And FLA say, no, you're not get none. So, that in itself don't exonerate FLA. But we will continue with what this whistleblower say. If you don't know what the NIB is, that is the National Intelligence Bureau. The psycho uncle some place of the Federal Bureau of Investigations, she may call the National Intelligence Bureau. Them people, eh, run man fired and said them money are this and them money are that. The whistleblower go on to mention that the senior police officer who signed off on the report, in other words, theme stamp, theme seal, say yes, rev good to go, is still serving in Jamaica. Aye. So, may I wonder how much of that things in sign off on as it relates to Rev or other quote unquote dons? The National Intelligence Bureau? That's the highest level of intel in Jamaica. Rev have links in the NIB then. Because NIB wiped him slate clean. No one could talk about this because it's bigger than Rev. May I tell you why? Recently, Mr. The Prime Minister come out and said the government is not a monster. Right? Don't be afraid of the government and you know the Jamaican public are very hesitant when it comes on to giving certain pieces of information to the government. And he's saying, listen, people, you don't have nothing to worry about. Based on what I see so, people have everything to worry about. Why politicians in Jamaica continue to act like say, them they know say people with links can get almost anything by anybody. The Jamaican public have all right to be suspicious. Rev have links in the NIB. If Rev can get him links in the NIB, for Masha works like this for him. How we know say, him can get him same links in the NIB, or in our next government agency or government branch, to provide information from one of them enemy them. The government of all of the people have information. So if Dons can get access to NIB and links in the NIB, why wouldn't the Jamaican people be suspicious so the same Dan who might want to kill them because the Dan here said they are quote unquote in farmer and they want to get this and they want to get that. All the Jamaican people know say the same links now go pass on information to Rev. Come on people, I don't even realize how serious this is. Imagine the Dan for the Bloods or the Crips or the GDs having links in the upper echelons of the FBI. NIB know everything about Rev. And the same policeman who signed off on it still at work. According to the article, the handgun was given in 2013 and the shotgun was given in 2015. But in the same article mentioned say he's been on the police radar for over a decade. Over a decade? Now, I might not be the most educated, but a decade is 10 years, correct? And him say over a decade. Michael does work with the 10 years. We're currently in the year. 2022. Ten years ago was 2012. The first gun get issued in 2013. 
So how oh, your favorite Dan for the pan radar from 2012 at minimum and 2013 and 2015 when you give them legal for your arm? That's strange. The maths just not match thing. The addition is not adding. The subtract is not subtracting. That doesn't make sense to me. Maybe I can't never really go to school. Maybe it makes sense to you. They pump police with her over a decade. So in other words, they know say my done for a long time. I can't believe this. Just kidding. Of course I can believe this. This is Iron Man where I talk about. It's bigger than Riv. I told you already. It's very unlikely Riv is going to get a conviction. But even if him get one, I hope on a river alone go down. Because you see, if a river alone go down, there will be another Riv. This system, this network of a tumble as a whole. From the police them at the top, because this is no constable, you know. No constable in a NIB can't sign off on nothing for somebody like Rev. A big wig police this. The article mentioned say there's a high level probe into a number of police officers. Unicorn me. The same article mentioned that there are high level probes into many senior police officers in the JC because of what go down with Rev and Unicorn me. Every minute they are probing, we can't even come out of it. What are the results of these probes? That is what me really want to see from the police commission. Going after them squad there. Going after them squad it there. That's why I'm telling you, say, I was not surprised to hear say Uncle Sam was a part of the investigation. I mean, I wonder if I threw Uncle Sam apartheid, why them go for Rev? Why you think Jamaica does suddenly know say Rev a big done? And suddenly, right, you are a import or a export. It look like only one time a foreign country is interested in a Jamaican dan. Jamaican officials get interested in that Jamaican dan. I hope Rev don't go down alone. Rev cannot operate by himself. No matter how much money he have, he could be the biggest criminal in the history of Jamdom. Rev cannot operate alone. He needs a system, he needs a network, and that network must involve people in the legal system. Police, judge, lawyer, etc. So if you see them tumble too, this is smoke and mirrors. Because there will always be an X90. There will always be an X87. As long as the machine that allows them to operate continue to exist. So this high level probe into senior police officers. That's vague. We don't believe you. When time we see them start, tumble left, right and center, maybe. Maybe we might take on the serious. Until then, three for one pan the unicorn. Free bag a unicorn chow included. You just squad big up on yourself. PIA, you don't know more life. Water squad, see a circling. Bless.